everyone, this is Yolanda from the Off Crafts channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make this beautiful poncho. I hope you can see it. It's just like a netting um, design here. And then it has some little um, shells lower. And then you have some fringe or tassels. I guess that's what you call it. So it's one size pretty much fits all. It's, um, you know, um, it, you could also add instead of doing when I still be when I begin here and you could instead of having one sh uh, shell in each one you could do two to make it bigger but this um, I'm a plus size and it does fit me so um, I feel like I'm a bird I'm gonna fly away no. <laughs> so this is um, really cute it's easy to do if you want it you, you don't have to add um, if you don't want you don't have to add those little shells um, I did another one. Let me get it here. And um, this one is just all plain without um, the little designs here. So it's totally up to you. Um, either way, it works. And then you just add your tassels. So I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. And thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. Okay, to start our project, I'm going to be using a size F hook, which is... Um, excuse me a size 5 or a 3.75 millimeter so it's a F hook slash size 5 3.75 millimeters and I'm just going to be using um, the Caron Simply Soft just because that's what I have available you want to use a thinner um, yarn maybe a three ply yarn this might be actually a little thick but it seems to be working okay and so now what you're going to do to begin it's going to be, we are going to begin by doing 130 chains. And so remember to do your chain, you just get your hook, yarn over, meaning you wrap the yarn around the hook, and you pull out your chain. And you're going to be doing 130 chains. So go ahead and do that. I've completed my 130 chains here. And we're going to slip stitch into the very first chain. But you want to be careful that you don't twist the chain. Usually I just get my hook like this and I just run my finger along the chain this way. Just to make sure it's not going to twist on me. See how it started twisting there? I had to put it back in place. So you want to make sure that your chain is nice and straight. And here I know that's my side there. So I'm going to slip stitch into the very first chain and now I know it's not going to be twisted and you're going to slip stitch into the first chain and see now both of our chains line up very nicely. Now here for row one it's going to be one row of single crochets, one single crochet in every chain. So to go up I'm simply going to chain one and now I'm just without wrapping my hook around I'm just going to go into my very first chain and um, the next chain, excuse me, and just start doing one single crochet into every chain. Oops, did I grab that right? Uh oh, missed one of the strands. So just go ahead and do that one single crochet in every chain all the way around. And then when you come to the end here, we're going to slip stitch into our first space and then we'll go up to row two. So one in every space. Okay, see here I finished my last single crochet. And let me take this out. Um, and then so here on your very first chain that you started, you're going to slip stitch okay and then you're going to chain three one two three but I wanted to show you um, this chain if you look at it let me see if I could pull out so you could see it does not twist and this is what you want if you open this up it should lay flat see how it lays flat the edges here they don't twist it, this is how it has to be okay so if I put my hand here and I put my hand here you could see that it's even okay and that's what you want if your chain is twisting you need to pull it out and start again because this project it will not work it's just it's you're not going to be able to do it you're just going to have a a mess 
So here it is super important. That's why I said to um, run the strand through your hand. Remember to make sure that it doesn't twist. And this is what you should have. You should have it this way where it's going to go over your head and it's going to be perfect like that, okay? So now that you've done your three uh, chains, now we're going to do two rows of double crochet. So you chain three and you're going to just do in every chain, you're going to do one double crochet in each chain. So here on the next chain then I'm going to wrap my yarn over my hook, I'm going to yarn over I'm going to go into my next chain there, pull out my yarn, there should be three loops, pull through two, and then through the next two. And this one does count as a double crochet. You're going to go into your next chain, do the very same thing here, pull out your yarn, to through, through two, and then two. You're going to do that all the way around. When you come to the end here, you're going to slip stitch into that third chain, chain three, and repeat the same thing so that we have two rows of double crochet. So go ahead and do that and then we will start, come back and show you how to move on from here. Okay, so here I'm coming to my last, I came to my last double crochet. Now I'm gonna slip stitch into the third chain, one, two, three, right here. And then I'm going to repeat, excuse me, I'm going to repeat uh, row two. So I could get that here. So I'm gonna chain three and then go around one more time doing my double crochet in every chain. Okay, here I'm coming to the end of my third row of double crochets. Here's my last space here. Now I'm going to slip stitch in the third chain. One, two, three. We go. And I close that up. Now to begin doing our open stitching, I guess some people call it fillet or net stitching. You're going to crochet four. One, two, three, and four. Two, three, four, excuse me, five. Because the first three are going to count as your first double crochet, then the other two are your space. Now here you're going to skip two chains, one, two, and then on the third chain, I want you to do a double crochet, okay? And this one you want to do it kind of loose. You don't have to do it that tight. So see here it's sh shaping that little shape. So here you're going to do three chains. One, two, three. And then once again you're going to leave two unworked on the bottom. And then on the third one you're going to do your double crochet. So it should look like this, okay? And then you're going to do three again. One, two, three, leave two unworked, one, two, and then on the third one, you're going to do your double crochet. I want you to do that all the way around. When you come to this end here, you're going to slip stitch into the third chain, one, two, three, so that you have two chains free, okay? So I want you to go ahead and go all the way around with three chains in between your double crochets and you're going to be skipping two chains here on the bottom one two and then on the third one is where you will um, do your double crochets so go ahead and work that all the way around okay here I'm finished my last double crochet I'm going to do chain three one two three and then we're, I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain one two three okay and now to go into my next rounds, we're going to be working in between in the open spaces here in between the post, okay? So here you're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to skip this very first space. And then in this space here, the next space, you're just going to go in there, pull out your thing and you're going to your hook and you're going to do a single crochet just like that, okay? And you're going to continue doing that all the way around. We're going to do that for 26 rounds. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to skip. I'm going to my next space here. See how I'm here? Now I'm going to go in here, put my hook in there, and do a single crochet. So we're going to get these little loops all the way around. And so go ahead and go around. We're going to do that for 26 rows. And... Um, 
when we get back here I'll show you how you're just going to actually just continue uh, working into that round so when you go around I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to show you how to move up to the next rows okay here I'm coming to the end see this is where we started off so I'm going to do my seven chains here one two three four five six and seven and then I'm going to go into right here my space there so now here is the beginning where we started we're not going to slip stitch into the third chain or anything like that from here on we're going to begin working in rounds so what I want you to do um, if just so that you don't get confused I like to put a little stitch marker there just so that I could know hey this is where my rounds is starting and then I can start counting my rows because this is row one this is row two and now we're going to start row three and here we're going to do this um, row three until we have uh, of these we're going to do this uh, row three until we have uh, 26 of these little loops okay so here 26 rows excuse me so here you're just going to do the same thing we did here we, we uh, did a single crochet in there now you're going to do seven chains one two three four five six seven okay and now you're just going to link in to the middle into your next open space right here there you go okay so now we'll know that this is where your round started okay just so that you can count your rows so now I have seven there now I'm going to do seven more one two three four five six seven I'm going to attach into my next loop there so see we're doing the same thing here and it's going to start creating this little um, shape you're going to do that all the way around and when you get here to the end you're going to attach when you get to your round you're going to attach here your single crochet you're going to do your seven stitches and then move up your little um, stitch marker to the next row just so that you will you'll be able to count your rows if you're really good at not losing your place you don't have to do that but I sometimes I lose my place and so I want to know that how many I, I counted it's easier for me to do this way so go ahead and go around the same way doing your seven um, chains one two three four five six seven into your next loop here there your single crochet you're going to repeat that until you have 26 of these rows I'm sorry if I'm giving you too much information I want to make sure you know what we're doing here so when we get uh, to the end of the 26 rows I will come back and show you how we do the little design on there if you don't want to do the design just continue on doing your little um, these little loops until you have 32 rows okay here I finished doing my last the 25th row and it's gonna it might seem like it's kind of short but what you're gonna do it when it's all done when you finish doing all your rows you're just gonna get it from the neck here this is the neck portion and then you're gonna shake it out like you're shaking out your sheets or a mat like that I am not doing it really hard but you would just do it kind of hard up against like in the air or on a surface and it will stretch out your whole work it will because right now it's like kind of shrunken when you when you um, shake it out like that it'll make it all long and if you want you can just continue the same stitch for your whole um, poncho like this but what I'm going to be doing now is that we're going to be working on row 26 we're going to be making these little um, shout designs okay um, and you don't have to do that if you don't want to this is optional but it kind of gives it a nice little trim on the bottom oops sorry that's my phone so here I've come I already did my last one here's my stitch marker so let me get my put my hook in there so now you're going to do one shell followed by two of these open um, works okay so here I slip stitch there on the top of my next um, space here seven spaces so here and here you're gonna do seven double crochets you're gonna go wrap your yarn around your hook you're gonna yarn over go in there and go one double crochet remember the double crochet you you have three loops pull through two and then the next two so that's your second one three four five six and seven okay 
You're going to do seven double crochets into that same space and now you're going to come and then slip stitch in the next one here like we did here. So it's just going to make it this little round space. Now you're going to do seven chains here like you did before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you go into your next seven crochet space here just like you were doing before and you're going to do this twice so there's one so there's one space there remember here's our shells and then our space we're going to do one more one two three four five six and seven and then you're going to slip uh, single crochet here in your next space so now you have two loops you got a shell and two loops so now you're going to repeat this again your next space you're going to have seven double crochets to make that little shell and your next space you're going to have these two open spaces so here once I slip stitch in there excuse me once I did a single crochet in there I'm going to repeat the pattern again and just start doing seven double crochet shades here followed by two of those open um, chains designs okay three four five six and seven once I do that there I got my seven I'm going to go into my next space here and I'm going to do single crochet to tie it off there so that's going to be the pattern all the way around your entire row you're going to do one space with seven double crochets followed by two spaces with the seven chains okay and you're going to be slip you're going to be single crocheting in those spaces and once you sing, single crochet here then the next one would be seven double crochets two more of the open ones and then the seven double crochets so go ahead and do that all the way around until you get to the beginning here okay here I'm coming to the end I've done my last seven double crochets into this space and then you'll see you'll have two there and now you're going to do two more rows of just the uh, the open spaces, just the seven chains, and then this double, you know, then the single crochet. So here you're just going to start working in rounds again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to go to your next space here. Do a single crochet there. That's where our, our round began. You're going to do one more time. One, two, three, four, five six seven and then this time you're going to come to where your shell is and you're going to do a single crochet into the fourth chain one two three four just the middle chain here and you're going to single crochet there so see you're going to do that all the way around you're just going to do your um, open work here single crochet in the middle when you get to the one here with the shell you're going to do it into the fourth chain and then here you would just continue you know with your seven chains And then you would, oops, let me here. And then you would go into your next space here. So you're going to do that for two to three rounds. And then you can do one more row of the shells here on the next round after that. I'm going to do two rounds of this open, open rows. And then after that, I'm going to do one round of this and then two rounds of the open rows. After I do that, then I'm going to put on my fringe. So go ahead and do two rounds of your open rows here and then you're going to catch on the middle chain here the middle the fourth chain and then when you come to your third one third row you're going to do one row this way again and then two more rows of these open ones then we'll come back and we'll put on the fringe okay I've come to my last um, stitch here it's here it is let me put it there so now I'm just going to fasten off and tie off my last um, stitch there and now all you need to do is if you um, uh, I would put tassels on the ends just like this and uh, you can do it like every two or three tassels it depends on how much this one I did it like almost in every yeah every edge here and every little square um, where it's not where it's gathered here but where it's hanging down so here we would put it in uh, 
in these sections here where it's open. This section would not have one, but here, then here, then here. And the tassels help to kind of pull it down to give it weight. So the, only, the way I do the tassels is that you can do whatever size you want. Let me get here my yarn. And this is the last step. Once you do that, then you're all done. Unless you want to keep making it longer, that's totally up to you. So usually I just get something like this is just a little notepad I have. And um, you just get either, um, this is about the right length. See, I just, nothing, you know, I just get something that's about the right length. And then I just get the yarn. And then I just put it here. Let me see if I can show you what I'm doing. And I just um, will wrap it around like three or four times. So here is four times, right? Then I'm going to cut it off. Then I just cut it here in the middle, slip it off, and then all I'm going to do is get my um, poncho. I think, you know, whichever um, you just start, you put them in there, through there, and then you're just going to wrap it around. Basically, you're just going to grab it, grab the thing here. Oops. I lost a couple of them there and pull it out like that okay and then I do all of them and then when I finish then I could trim them usually if you want to it's easier to use a fat crochet and pull them out so that's all you're gonna do you're gonna do them on each one or if you don't want to do them in each one do them in every other one up to you and that's all you're all you need to do and you're all set and I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you so much.